Well, today the uh, Rules Committee, the Homeland Security Committee, issued a report on uh, January the 6th and what happened here at the Capitol. Uh, Senator Portman and I, working with Senator uh, Klobuchar uh, and Gary and Senator Peters, uh, to come forth with that report. Really, five months after that date, a 127-page report, 20 recommendations in the report itself. Some to the FBI, some to Homeland Security. Uh, some to uh, the Capitol Police, uh, and then we referenced uh, with approval of the effort they've gone through another 65 recommendations uh, from the Capitol Police Inspector General. We'll have hearings next week in the Rules Committee with the Inspector General looking at, at those 65 recommendations. I think the one that requires legislative action uh, would give the ability to the, uh, the Chief of the Capitol Police without the police board being involved in an emergency to ask for outside uh, assistance. I've thought for a long time that the police board barely functions at the best of times. And in a crisis, the police board, which is the sergeant at arms of the Senate, the sergeant at arms of the House, and the architect of the Capitol, all three have principal responsibilities that absolutely demand their attention in a way that they are unlikely to act as a police board to pay attention to the overall problem because they've got their own responsibilities that day. That's a piece of legislation I believe the Congress will easily pass and Senator Klobuchar and I will introduce that legislation next week. Uh, I think we can move quickly on these recommendations. Uh, they are the kinds of things that with the one legislative change uh, and the kind of oversight that particularly comes through the appropriations process. Uh, we need to make not just one short-time emergency commitment to how we secure this building, but the kind of commitment that we could maintain year after year. I would say in addition to the 18 people we either had uh, extensive interviews with or brought to the two public hearings, we had input from over 50 members of the Capitol Police. Uh, and uh, I think everybody in the Senate, everybody in the House, certainly the people on our two committees uh, left with even a heightened sense of appreciation for the courage that the officers had, the ability that they had under the worst of circumstances to do everything they could do. And of course, we're extremely uh, grateful but saddened by the fact that, you know, seven lives were lost either during that event or after that event. And many of our police officers continue uh, to have significant uh, problems uh, because of what they faced that day and uh, really, really frankly, the, the lack of, of equipment that worked, the lack of a plan that they needed. Uh, and so the decision of who's the next police chief, that will be decided by the police board, but we've encouraged the police board to uh, reach out to the members, to the staff, to the Capitol community, but particularly to reach out to the Capitol Police as they look at uh, what we need to move forward with these 20 specific changes in the overall structure uh, and 65 specific changes we'll be talking about uh, for just the Capitol Police in the next few weeks.